In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I set up my Google Meet so that I could integrate it with my Go High Level Calendar and my appointment reminder sequences. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at my Google Calendar. So here I am in my Google Calendar. All I did was create a meeting Right, so I just named it something arbitrary like meeting with Tim. So just name it something that you are gonna be aware that people can see. And then what you need to do is make it a recurring um, meeting, right? So I just chose, you know, Saturday and Sunday from 6.30 to 7.30 and then um, I saved it, right? And what happens is, is you get generated this Google Meet code. Now because it's a recurring ongoing meeting that happens every Saturday and Sunday outside of business hours, right? Um, this link will always stay the same. So all I had to do was copy the conference info, go ahead and save it. And then when you go into go high level, go ahead and click settings and come over here to custom values. And what you're going to want to do is create a custom value that's named meeting location and then put your Google meeting information in that custom value just like this. Now, I'm not sure about this part where um, I've seen some people in the comments say that you had to have a team calendar, right? So, you know, no big deal. You can create a team calendar, um, you know, like I did here. I just created a team calendar um, and put myself on it as I was kind of stumbling around and looking for ways to make this happen. So I went in there and created a consultation calendar. So uh, I went in there and chose Go Google Meet, named it consultation, book a consultation appointment, set up the widget URL, and then uh, saved it. I also set myself up in the team management area here and added myself as an employee so that I could uh, come in here and put in my user information and my permissions, my roles, and also, let's see, where is it? Here we go. The user availability is the meeting location is Google Meet. And then I've got my hours up in here. So then I go, I went ahead and saved that. And how I got this to show up in my workflows is by coming over to the automations tab. And then here's my appointment reminder uh, confirmation. So what I did was I went in here and updated my workflow so that the confirmation email would say, hey, you know, your appointment's been confirmed, blah, blah. But then here's the custom values meeting location. And how I got that in there was I clicked custom values, came over here to custom values, and here's my meeting location because I set up that um, custom value field so that it would have the information. So now, when I come in here and test my email, so you can see when I test my appointment confirmation email, the Google Meet info is right here. So because I set up that recurring appointment on my Google Calendar, I was able to generate this static link and now I can insert it into my confirmation emails, reminder emails, one hour before email, and that sort of thing, right? So I just wanted to make this video to you know try and help out people who are having a hard time setting up their Google Meet with Go High Level. Uh, this is the uh, way that I found to do it, kind of cobbled it together from a lot of different people's advice that I read on the um, Facebook group. So I hope you found this helpful.